guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season two of Pop Team Epics. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that that's you, babe. It's <laughs> <laughs> opening. I literally saw this opening like an hour ago, and I was like, bruh. I don't, like, I feel like this is just only going to be the opening for opening one. And then after that, we're going to probably either get, um, a fully animated opening. Uh, just like how it happened in season one. <laughs> but I love it because it's shown to Allie. I was expecting that the girl who, right here, um, I thought it was going to be Nana Mizuki because, like, they had that 72-hour stream of Nana Mizuki, like, seeing just, like, one part from a song, and I, <laughs> I was like, what are we doing? I was like, yes, I know this is coming out this weekend, and like, bro, <laughs> and I was so excited, but bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. And it does make me wonder, like, who is going to sing the actual animated opening next week? Like, I want it to be Samira again because I love her so freaking much. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, who can up her on that? Because that the season one's opening is so freaking good. That song is so effing good. I listen to that song way too much. <laughs> ah, baby! Look at him. Oh, I miss these two. Hi. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> you too. She can. Oh no! <laughs> the baby! It's not gonna grow out of her head or something. <laughs> no! Oh. Are we doing that? No. I just want to know who's voicing them in this episode so bad. <laughs> like, I feel like I know who's voicing Pee Pee Me, but Popco, no. Get it. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's so good, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already ready for the male version of this because the guys are going <laughs> to.
That usually is what happened in a musical. Everybody else just joins. You did, baby! Go on, Paco! I wonder if they're going to reference the fireworks thing. What happened? Ah! I need that in my life so bad. Oh. Mm, poor babies. Nobody recognize you. Yeah. At least you guys aren't canceled, though. Ah! <laughs> Look at him. I'm getting, like, hella trigger vibes. This is a BL now. You need more memes. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. They're iconic, so you know, they had to get a series. Well, it's pop go. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, <squid eggs. laughs> Is this supposed to be um, the Blair Witch Project? So fucking cute. <laughs> PV me, are, are you Superman? Mm -mm.
but she also has a picture with her in the SR. I was expecting, like, freaking Popko to be a SSR. See, oh my god, this is now, like, because we're talking about gotcha rolls, freaking Idol Master, or freaking Bendity, or, um, D4 DJ now, and how addicting gotcha games are, and how we are all addicted to something. If it's not regular gambling, it's gotcha rolling, and... It, Bra, like recently, I just did ish for Cinderella Girls. I had 12k gems and now I have 2k, so I know that feeling. <laughs> but ah, even though we are not done with it, we still have the male half of it. I already fucking love it and I miss these girls so damn much. Oh my god, you don't even know. <laughs> This not only reminds me, like, you know the radio shows that they have for some of the animes and such? Where they just talk about, like, the anime or anything. <laughs> Hella vibes. <laughs> oh, God! No, my baby. No. You know what I also thought they were going to do? Um, kind of reference Galandino with this as well. Which, which they still can. Because something, this is only the first episode though. Um, so it is a possibility that we might see Dino in some way, shape, or form. And I do want to see Gal, I, I, like, aka Kaede. Because Kaede, freaking love her and her style in it. But who freaking knows what's going to happen? <laughs> because... Um, they never really referenced Pop Team Epic in Gal and Dino, and I, it was the one thing that I kind of, like, disliked, but I was like, I'm okay, because they want to make it its separate thing, where it's like, okay, yeah, we're kind of still using the same art style, because it is by the same company, um, our anime studio that does Pop Team Epic, but we're trying to make these two different type series and such in its own way. And, I mean, yeah, a lot of people didn't really, you know, watch Gal and Dino. I think me and a couple of other people were, like, the only ones who reacted to it. Plus, the fact is, with COVID and everything, um, we had to wait such a super long time for this last couple of episodes and such. But when I did finish it, oh, it was so good. Because, here's one thing, like, okay, the guy in the tux on the far right, he looks like the taxi guy, um... In Galantino. So I wouldn't be surprised if he is hired back for this. And it also makes me wonder if the girl who played the live action Kayede, who I follow on Instagram, if she's going to also be a part of this as well. It, it would be cool. I'm just saying, because you know how I got to get that marketing out there. But, oh my god, just to be back into this series again, it's just fucking crazy. I was expecting this more to air on a Sunday, because it did say Sunday, but then I was like, oh wait, I'm dumb, that's Saturday, Deja, like, mm. So yeah, my Saturdays are even more hellish. <laughs> I feel like I know who that say you is. <laughs> Like, the cutest baby ever with that melt. No, baby! always need you. Mm -hmm. And here comes the singing. <laughs> I 
I, I just love the random people because, of course, musicals, we always have random people coming. See, I just feel like that is such a reference to, like, my hero, mainly because she, like, yeah, the Flintstones have no flair, Deku doesn't have a quirk! And then I feel like that, that's straight up the Grinch. The fact that she is still going! <laughs> yep, yeah, baby, don't let that fame get to you. Yeah, unfortunately nothing. Literally the best BL ever. Like, bro, I don't want to die today. Oh, my God. the balloon that has to be referenced to like kind of it maybe I'm not sure I mean cuz it it's just a balloon and that could reference anything <laughs> because it's only the first episode it's super hard to find out like what the reference truly are I got to <laughs> we probably got to wait a couple of hours probably tomorrow
I just love it in the art style. It's so cute. Like, if this is not confirming that they're going to have a collab with this show, bruh, I, I need all the merch. <laughs> I mean, hell, Pop Team Epic had a collab with freaking Bang Dream, and that, I wanted that, all that merch so damn bad, and I didn't get it. Like, it, it's still super hard to get that merch. That and Idol Master Cinderella Girls collab as well. I swear to God, like seriously, oh my God, they had to go on Twitter for that because seriously, me, uh, and if you follow my behind on Twitter and how I'm like, oh my God, best girl, best boy, someone come home, and then when they come home, I am on Twitter like, yeah, they came the fuck home. Like, uh, it, it's a blessing. It really is. <laughs> but going back, all right, so this first episode and rerun of this first episode as well it's good. I already, like I said, the return of these two it is awesome. I love it, and I've missed these two so freaking much, and honestly, I cannot wait to see who else will be voicing these two. Um, in the 12 or really 11 more weeks that we have with this show, it is going to be a little hard because in a couple of weeks, I will be gone. Um, I will be taking a little vacay, and I will, I know that Sunday or Monday that I return, I will be working my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess so, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 All the male stayers are having a field day over this week. Oh my god, we're playing. <laughs> Even for the ones in season one, like, damn, we we play in two cute high school girls. <laughs> the meme queens, like, uh, seriously. They were already meme queens when season one was airing, and, and they've, it, it, even more, they've established themselves into meme queens, and that's why, like, they're just iconic and such. Yes, a lot of people were, like, iffy on this show I remember with me I was watching this like I think a couple of months like at least two or three months after season one had aired and I fucking loved it I thought it was very interesting with the references and everything something just kind of tells me and I, I remember I had this conversation with someone um when I had truly finished season one and I was like and my videos were going on like still Billy Billy and Nico Nico I was like it's gonna be really funny if they end up referencing like any YouTubers like watching this show or just anything and I, I wouldn't be mad at it <laughs> because it is popular but who honestly really knows there's a lot of things that especially with season two since the time of season one till now a lot of things that they could reference like they've done the your name thing i feel like they're going to do weathering onto you several po big popular animes and such um video games you already did the final fantasy reference so i really don't know where in the world they could go from here now but i'm honestly excited once again this segues for both male and female do amazing i'm still wondering how like what else shota aoi's character or really shota aoi himself is going to be doing in this season um like I said, I also want a little connection to Gal and Dino that is a finger crossed type thing. <laughs> Hopefully it kind of happens. If it doesn't, I will be okay with it no matter what. So, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of season two of Pop Team Epic. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode two. Bye, guys.